If you think the crude oil industry has had a tough 18 months or so, consider U.S. natural gas. At around $1.90 per million BTUs for the traded benchmark, you'd have to go back to the previous millennium to find a lower price. Bearishness has prevailed in the U.S. natural gas market for a long, long time. According to data from the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, traders have held net short positions, that means expecting gas prices to fall, for almost all of the past decade. On the CFTC's data, no other commodity has been so consistently hated for so long. Of course, there is a lot of gas about these days. Partly due to a warm winter, inventories in the U.S. have shot up in recent months to 800 billion cubic feet above the five-year average, a near record. Now, that jump completely reversed an even larger deficit just two years back. Supply keeps rising, especially from Appalachia's prolific Marcellus region. Its rocks alone hold the equivalent of five years of U.S. consumption, according to America's Energy Information Agency. Now, as more than a third and climbing of U.S. gas goes to electric power generation, its main rival, thermal coal, has taken a beating. Not only is gas greener with half the carbon of coal, U.S. gas now also costs less per unit of energy than most U.S. coal. The latter situation does not happen often, only once before since 2000. No surprise, then, that America's largest coal miner, Peabody Energy, suggested last week that it was near bankruptcy. Now, unless production drops or demand has some surprising surge, this cheap gas is going to eventually show up in Europe. Already, U.S. export cargoes have gone off to Brazil recently. Next target will likely be the U.K. Even including the cost of liquefying, that is freezing, natural gas and shipping it in special tankers, U.S. gas should compete with the output of Russia and Norway. A fledgling LNG spot market can only get busier. Now, in the U.K., at least, that should mean lower energy prices. The gas price is 40 percent higher here than the potential landed price from the U.S. Good news for consumers, perhaps. Bad news for some utilities such as SSE, Drax, and Centrica already struggling to cover fixed costs as power prices head further south. Now, assuming that the U.S. gas surfeit continues, it will cast a cloud over other markets as well.